Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to find all 23 collectibles here in the Hunter's Quarry and Jedi Survivor. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Now, as always, some of these collectibles require certain abilities that aren't unlocked until later on in the main story. So if you're not able to grab one, just come back and get it later. All right, so we're gonna start from the meditation site that's in the Southern Reach, right at the entrance to the Hunter's Quarry. So if you come over here, you guys will see it's a pretty obvious entrance, but what we're gonna do is work our way left. We're gonna come up here and then work our way to the right side. So starting from here, I'm going to hop on one of these guys just so we can move around a little bit quicker. But we want to start by going all the way to the top left. So we'll just travel here into the Hunter's Quarry. And the first thing we're going to do is go all the way up to the left here. And as we go all the way up to the top, just continue to follow this path. You may encounter a pretty big monster that's up here. So you might have to take him out. But once doing so, we can follow the path through the rocks. And once you get into this little corridor, you're going to start running into a lot of enemies. Um, there's maybe like eight or nine of them up here, but we'll have to hop off this guy so that we can make it through the little tunnel here. And we just glitched through the tunnel with him. So now that we're in the tunnel, all you have to do is walk through that little tunnel. It's not too bad. But once you make it inside, we're going to go to the left side over here and you guys are going to see this dragon, uh, I guess, dragon bone thing going on on the walls. If you go on the far left side, we're going to have an area over here that we can scan. So that'll be our first collectible location. And once doing that, continue to head toward the very back of this cave. And once you make it to the back, we're going to have a chest, which is going to be our second collectible location. And once you've grabbed that chest, we're just going to turn around and head back outside the cave. We're back at the entrance over here. We're going to work our way back down the path. And once we get out, we're going to take a right and we're going to be able to jump up onto this next level. So if you come over here and jump, we'll get up on this platform. We're going to run over here under this cool uh, rock formation, and you're going to have a pretty big boss up here to take out. Uh, he'll be hanging out guarding this chest. But once you take him out, you can come back right over here and grab your third collectible. Now, after you grab this chest, if you look to your right, we're going to have two kind of cool rock uh, pillars here. If we go over to the one on the far right, we're going to be able to scan it using BD1, and this is going to give you another collectible. Now, after you scan this rock, we can look to the right, and right over here along this path, you guys are going to find another blue light, and that blue light is going to be our next collectible. Now, once you pick this one up, we're going to turn around, and we're going to have a bird behind us. We're going to hop on this bird and fly to the left, and we're going to go around the corner here. So we'll grab the bird. We're going to turn left. We're going to fly over here toward this small set of buildings and we're going to be looking for a rock over here. So we'll jump off to make it onto this upper level. And you guys can see the rock over here. It's kind of in front of this giant yellow structure. But we're going to have a rock and right here near this rock, we're going to have a seed pod. So you guys can see it right next to me. This is what you should use as your landmark. But right over here is a bush that we can take out and get our next collectible. Now, once you pick up this seed pod, we're going to head into the building in front of us. Now, there's two ways in. If you've already completed the puzzle, you can go in right here. If you haven't, you can work your way up to the top and use force lift to open the door. But it's really quick. They both lead to the exact same spot. But we want to go inside. We're going to get three collectibles in here. The first thing we're going to do is run all the way back to the start of the laser. So if we go right back over here to where the laser is, uh, we're going to start here. Now, if you look over here in this room, we've got a lot of those little blue dots that are going to get in the way, and we've got some collectibles in there we want to grab. So the first thing we're going to do is grab this ball, and we're going to throw it in this room. So once you get this ball, throw it over here into this one. And once you do that, that's going to clear out all the little blue dots that are in here. And that's going to allow you to come right back over here and scan this and pick up this collectible. Now, again, I've already completed this puzzle. So when you come in here for the first time, the ball might already be in here and you can just do vice versa. Just pick it up, throw it in there, and that'll clear out all the little blue dots flying around. Now, after you grab this one, if you turn around, you're going to see this little hallway back here with another collectible. Now, you can try jumping and dashing. It most likely won't work. But once you get back there near it, all these little blue dots will get off of you. So you guys can see I try to dash. It doesn't let me. But once you get back here, they get off of you and then you can interact and pick up this collectible. Now, once you've picked up this one, we're going to head back over to this little purple ball thing and we're going to pick it up and we're going to throw it back to where we originally had it. So if you never had it up there, we're going to put it back in this one. Just so you guys know, you can run around with this thing and it's it's what removes all the little blue dots. So you're safe as long as you're holding this thing. We're going to put it back in here just for the fun of it. And then we're going to go right back over here to where the laser is over to this platform. And once you make it to this platform, you guys are going to see we have another little hallway with another collectible in the back. To get back there, we want to double jump and dash. So we'll double jump here, dash your way across, you'll get behind it, and you'll be able to pick up this collectible here. Now, once you're done grabbing all the collectibles in this little cave, we can exit. And once doing so, we're going to turn right and go back here around the backside. And what we're going to do is go into this little building that's back here. 
Now you're not gonna be able to get in if you haven't been in already. So the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna jump up over here on the right. And once you get up over here on this ledge, there's gonna be a spot to wall run and we're gonna be able to grab onto the rocks over there. So we'll wall run right here. We can double jump across and you'll grab on. We can then move left, jump across here, continue to move left, and then we'll jump onto these vines right here. We'll go all the way around. You can go up if you don't feel comfortable jumping across. And once you get over here, you can just drop down. And this is gonna be where we're gonna get into the building. So once we come over here, you'll see a little opening inside. We're just gonna walk in there and we'll drop down in. Now, once you jump down, the first thing you wanna do is turn to your right and we're gonna have something that we can scan right here. This is gonna be your first collectible in here. After doing that, we're gonna turn around and head over to this table. We're gonna have two collectibles on this table. The first one you're gonna be able to scan right here. That'll be number two. And then number, th number three will be right over here on this table. Now, once you've picked up all the collectibles in here, we're gonna come over here to this machine and hit slice. And what that's gonna do is spawn a little ball right here. We're gonna take this droid all the way over here to where the exit's gonna be. So bring him up this ramp, bring him right over here by the door. And then we're gonna use the force and throw them at the door. And that's gonna break out, and that's how we get out of this building. And once you've made it out, we're actually gonna turn around and go back over to where the droid was, and we're gonna spawn another one. So we'll use BD-1 to slice this, spawn another one of these little droids, and we're gonna bring him outside to take out another door that's gonna give us another collectible. So make sure he gets up the ramp, take him outside here, and we're just gonna hug the mountain and right over here on the other side of these rocks, you guys will see the wall that we can break. We'll let him get close. We'll pick him up with the force, throw him at the wall. And now we can go inside and grab ourselves another collectible. Now, once you're done in here, we're going to turn around and we're going to head into this giant room in the side of the mountain in front of us. Now, you're going to have some droids in here you're going to have to fight, but we're also going to have three collectibles. Now, your first one's going to be on the left side under this green roof over here. If you walk up to this little structure, we can scan it, and this will be your first collectible over here. Then we're gonna go inside. You guys can see the blue light over here on the right side. This is gonna be our second collectible. And then your third collectible is gonna be a chest that's located in the very back. It'll be really hard to miss, but right here is where you get your third one. Now, after you've opened this chest, we're gonna turn around and head back outside, and we're gonna go get ourselves two seed pods. So essentially what you wanna do is just follow this path past these random structures. And once you get over here, we're just gonna jump up on this ledge where you can kind of see the rock goes up. We're gonna have two plants up here we wanna take out. Just look for the green orbs. The first one will be right here on your left. You can take that one out. And the other one's gonna be a little bit further over this way. So again, just look for the green orbs. You'll find them pretty easily. I believe it's right here. So yeah, this is gonna be your second one. And that's how you get these two seed pods. Now, after you grab your seed pods, we wanna go up over here on top of this giant yellow structure on the mountain. Now, the way to get up there is we're gonna to have to head all the way back over this direction. And we're gonna go all the way around to where we can actually jump up. And it's gonna allow us to kind of go back into the region and be able to get up there and get two of our collectibles. So if we run under this rock formation, you'll get the queue to zip line up to this, uh, this vine. And once you get up here, we can climb up to the top. Now there's a collectible over there, but that's for a different region. And once you get up here, we're gonna come over here to these things that we can jump to. So we'll jump across, and we're just gonna jump our way across until we can get up top. So we'll jump over to this one, come over to the third one here. We'll hit the fourth one, and then you're gonna wanna hit the wall run, and that's gonna get us up there. So we can jump, hit the wall, we'll double jump, dodge, and now we're up here. Now, as you guys can see in my game right now, we're gonna have one collectible that's right here on this suit. There's gonna be a second collectible up here. This is actually the location for the force tier uh, in this region. So in the Hunter's Quarry, a lot of people are trying to figure out where that force tier is. There's a glitch in the game right now where it's not spawning. So if you've been looking for it, it's up here. It's right where I'm standing. But I would imagine this is something that'll get fixed pretty soon. So if this isn't up here for you, don't worry. It will be eventually. Now, after you grab these, we're gonna turn around and we wanna make it all the way across over there. Now, you might be able to take this bird and make it, but just to be on the safe side, we're gonna wall run and we're just gonna grapple our way over there. So we can grab onto this one. We can come over here, grab onto this one. We'll hit this one and this is how we'll be able to get across. Now our remaining three collectibles are gonna be up here. It's gonna be three seed pods. What we wanna do to get inside is we're gonna run all the way around the back right here. And once we get back here, we'll be able to jump up, go around and there's gonna be an opening where we can actually get inside. So right here we can jump, make it through. 
And once you're inside, we're going to come back over here to the front. So now we're back at the front side facing the bones and we're going to work our way up the left and we're going to find the first two. So your first one's going to be right here next to the bones. So go ahead and take that one out. Now continue to move left and right back here past all these bushes, you should find the second one. So you guys can see it right here. It's hanging out. Just look for the green orbs or just destroy every bush and you'll be able to get them all. And we have one more remaining. It's going to be over by the head. So if you come over here, you'll see the head. Your last one's going to be located right next to it. So right here against this rock, go ahead and destroy that. And just like that, you've got all 23 collectibles. But this is how to find all 23 collectibles here in the Hunter's Quarry. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. And we'll see you guys in the next video.